From Karens having total meltdowns at McDonald's to complete lunatics getting pepper sprayed by security guards, today we'll take a look at the best that society has to offer. Our first clip is a meltdown at a hospital and it looks like one of the employees was way out of line. You need to you, do, you can have that bag? No, no. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not doing none of well, that. No. No, I, I'm not. Oh, you're not? Okay. Who is your supervisor here? I need Find to... Find out. No, okay. Find well. out. Okay, I am. Find out. Where's your client? No, no. Ma'am, can you call your supervisor? Is it... I'm not... I'm not... Yeah. I didn't even no, scream at her. Yeah. Good up on that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I know she's stressed. I know she's stressed, but I didn't nobody scream at her. I said, I just asked if she needed something else. You want to do all this shit? Get her unprofessional ass on. Because she had an attitude ever since people been walking up. You ain't got shit to do with it. Shut the fuck up. Okay. 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 And. 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 Run up, man. Run. Bring your ass in the fucking window, ho. And I got stuff on you. You ain't not here. 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 Let's say you just injured yourself, you have a broken leg or food poisoning, and then you go into the hospital and you see this shit, I would be like, hell no, oh my god, I can't believe she allowed herself to go full-blown ratchet. It's like, lady, you're at work, try to compose yourself. Next, we have a breakup with a very psychotic soon-to-be ex-girlfriend, and honestly, when you take a look at her outfit, that should have been a red flag from the start. All right. So, for the record, stop, stop. I'm telling you, you can get out. I'm asking you, please get and out. And I'm asking you to fucking listen. Please get out of my pickup. Just fucking listen to me for once in your life. Please get out of my pickup. You want me to key this fucking thing? Because I fucking will if you don't listen. Cool. Sh shut my door and leave me. Just shut my door. Stop recording me. Stop. No, this is my pickup. Key, uh, it's all on record. You want to key? You, you want to key my truck? Great. I'll come after. I'll come after you for the insurance. No, go. Close Put the door. phone down. Put the phone down. Stop recording and listen. Shut my door. Not until you stop recording me. Shut my door. Now you can't be recording me because I've told you to stop. You're doing it illegally. So I no, suggest you stop. Yeah, you are because I said stop. We're also on public property. This is, I said this is a public stop. School. I said stop. It's a public school. You don't, I, I said I, stop. I Andrew, I stop care. recording me. Shut, shut my truck door. Not until you stop recording me. Shut my truck door and stop me recording me, and I will. You can't force your way through this one. You can't scream your way through it. You just not need to stop. You, you need good. to stop being an immature bitch and listen. I'm not being immature. Yeah, you are. Nice you're fucking being right immature. Now. No, you're not. You being nice would be you listening. Don't fucking. Thank you. Now that is what you call a total psycho. Imagine if he stopped recording, she would have probably slashed his tires, keyed his car, and attempted to stab him. Anyways, luckily he's out of that relationship, and dude, don't you even think about going back. Next, we have some criminals who aren't the brightest and thought it was a good idea to record themselves stealing a car. Wait, wait, wait. See, looking, nigga. Somebody coming, nigga. Somebody coming.
some cops will tell you this. They'll say, we only catch the dumb ones. And this video truly proves it. Because they just made the cops' job so much easier to catch their dumbasses. Next, we have some type of argument at Walmart. And it's hard to tell who's on the right side over here. They're probably both on the wrong side because both parties are totally unhinged. Woke up on the wrong one. Factual. Yeah, bitch, I can. Can you? No, bitch, you wrong. Chateau, old ass up. Probably why you stroked out now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Let me Smoke get a butt. Crackhead ass. Go hit a pipe. That's what you can, though. That's all she is. Twist the fuck up. And if what? A male. Let a man. Like, sit there and wipe something up. That's what I'm saying. Anybody in here, if somebody walked up on your disabled member, you gonna handle that shit. Am I right or wrong? I don't know this fucking lady. Don't walk up on me, bitch. That's, that's, the, that's the key that to shit. it. To mind now. your own business. She had nothing to do with that. Like, she should have yeah. minded her business. That's what she said. I appreciate the person wiping the, the floor because they're gonna have to do it. Yeah, go ahead and check your shit out. So I can mop you on the floor. The woman in yellow seems extremely annoying. I do agree with that. But what the woman in purple is about to do was so uncalled for and illegal that, yeah, you're making yourself look like the villain now. Bitch, for real, check your shit out. Why you talking shit? Why you talking shit? Oh. Why you talking shit? Yeah, that's what you yeah, better do. You better check my shit out. That's what you better do. That's what you better do. Press them. Press them. Bitch, you probably can't even dial 911. You drunk. Like I said before, totally unnecessary and illegal. I don't understand why she felt the need to do that. Anyways, moving on, we have protesters that are protesting the war between Israel and Palestine. And instead of doing peacefully, like they are legally allowed to do on the sidewalk, they decide to block off a very busy street in Chicago. So to help save the people in Palestine and Israel, what they're doing is getting people late for work, possibly fired in Chicago. Make it make sense. Palestinians, but the continuation of a legacy of U.S. imperialism, a disastrous weapon disguised as diplomacy to spread horrors upon the poor and disenfranchised across the planet. This is probably the worst way of rallying people for your cause because the only thing you're accomplishing right now is pissing off everybody, getting people late for work, disrupting people's routines when people are already stressed enough as it is. So yeah, definitely a really, really bad way to send a message. Next, we have a woman who was having an issue because there was something unusual in her KFC chicken which was most likely some feathers, and when she confronted the KFC employee, he threatened to throw the chicken at her. So he's aware that I'm here, but ignoring me. As are the other employees. Who's that for you? So tell me again, ain't no way that those are just feathers on That's the chicken. That's not a feather. What are those then? What are the three feathers? You can you can with leave or I'll call the police. I'm not gonna do it. You're gonna call the police? Okay. Bro, throw it. Throw it. You better get out. You better get out. Sir. Bro, you see this girl? I are bro? you serious right now? You threatened to throw bro, the chicken at me? Store. You already went to the other store yelling and shit. I didn't go to the other just store. Get out. Call them just on the phone to speak with the district just manager. Just get out. Like damn, you that broke? Next, we have a male Karen who was bothering some McDonald's employees 
when someone decided to start recording the male Karen. Now, this interaction was pretty long, and by the end, unfortunately, the male Karen got the upper hand. <laughs> I can't believe that Darren said he has kids. It's like, dude, you're acting like one right now. So the Darren continued his little meltdown. The guy continued recording him. And eventually the Darren turned around and realized he was being recorded. And that's when the confrontation started. I see you recording me, by the way. And just to clarify and to be clear, the employee had a nervous breakdown. While yeah, I and you don't need to be a Karen to him. Okay. Do you think anybody? No, that was disrespectful. No, you being no disrespectful to them, pal. So be it. But at the same time, yeah, you are one racist did. motherfucker. Yeah. Okay, go. Yeah. He's an asshole. Hey, hey. Don't record me. Take that off. No. Take it off. Uh uh. Take, take no. That off. What are you gonna do? Tackle a handicapped person with kidney failure? Come on, I'd like to see you try. You said what? I have kidney fear. You want to tackle a handicapped person? No. Well, yeah, yeah. Are you it's scared? best for you to fucking leave, dude. Don't threaten me. Yeah. You just like how you threatened them? No, you didn't hear the full context. Yeah, before. I don't really care what you have to say. You're just being a Karen. No, you need to get I'm the hell big, out, dude. I'm a big black dude, so my interpretation of the world Yeah, you're a being a Karen, bro. Else. You're being a Karen. I'm not being a Karen. Yes, you are, man. I have everything. And this is part two. I record you the first time. So, uh uh. My rights, you can't do it. Hey, hey! You can't put hands on here. I'm happy Can I go to the back? No, 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 you can't. Please give me the phone. Another person. No, you need to stop. Please, you need to stop. I'm not even kidding right now. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He has your that phone's on his stop. He had me. Oh, oh, you were recording too. Huh? Yeah, I was recording. That's his phone. No, it's like, what? You were recording too. Okay, but I was recording y'all, and he's recording me
everything you You're do. You're a man, by the way, dude. You're supposed to come up to me and directly talk to me. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, because you're giving these poor people a hard time. Uh, as a man, my, myself, I'm recording. You're not being a man. You're, you're harassing. Man, you're being a woman abuser, dude. I'm being a woman abuser? Yeah. No, I'm just. Uh, yeah, you, dude, you, you, you're attracted to every woman you talk to, fool. The difference between me and you is simple. I can you caught everyone's attention because you're a little bullshit issue. Okay? Gosh, that Darren is such a hypocrite. It's like, dude, just a couple minutes ago, you were recording. You were trying to embarrass the workers. Now that you're being embarrassed by your own behavior, you have an issue with it, and you're willing to attack a handicapped person, what the hell is wrong with you? Trying to be a hero. Someone has to stand up for them. I know I'm not big ass as fucking frustrated once I tell them the story about the shit I got to do for this fucking country. That shit funny. You're fucking crazy. You are that new generation of crazy fucking people. You see me? I'm fit as fuck. Hold on, look. I'm fit, I'm healthy as shit. The difference between us is simpler. Y'all the lazy motherfuckers ruining this fucking country while we gotta keep this shit up to date. By the end of the day, you still handicapped and crippled. When it comes to work and doing shit, guess who gotta do it? Me. Uh, -uh. the truth of society is, you kind of the drain with it, bro. Look at me. Here's the truth, and let me explain what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, let me explain yeah, what's going to happen since you think you, you, you big. Right. People are going to look at this shit. Women going to look at this shit probably too and going to be like, what's this arrogant ass dude want? But by the end of the day, ain't nobody going to hate on me. Yeah, you are going to get hate. different from you. Okay? You think you're being clever, you're not. There was a serious situation. You decided to be scary and record me behind the scenes. Yeah, and of course, it's not freaking right, you, dude. Uh huh. How much do you depend on your mama for your shit? Uh huh. Um, yeah, I haven't gone to jail, you but work? you're going to jail. Do, do you work? You're going to jail too. Do you have a job? That's not do your you goddamn business. you provide anything to the country? Have you uh, done someone's anything? Someone's being very racist Can right you now. Fight? Are you a fighter? Are you, you a fighter? You tackled me. No, I didn't. I said, yes, don't did. record me. You, you tackled me, me down the on the counter. Okay? Just leave because the cops are going to be here soon. Good. Good. People like we men, dude. Men like me, we fucking tired right now. You think I got time for this shit? I'm on my yeah, fucking you're break. Yeah, you're wasting everyone's time over some stable. bullshit man, stuff. Man, shut up. You can't fight or defend yourself for nothing. You a weak little man trying uh -huh. to beat uh -huh. up because of your phone, bro. You're, yeah, you bullshitting these women and you tech an uh, innocent handicapper. Huh? No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I caught it on camera, motherfucker. Did I? Yeah. Did I? Yeah. I take the innocent handicapped person. Yeah. You think I knew you was handicapped from the beginning with your jacket on and everything? Oh, you wow, recorded you... me. Yeah, and you recorded them. Hmm? You recorded them. Hmm? You have no way to record them. Huh? So you just gonna record me? Yeah. And you're gonna waste my time. You like how you're wasting their time? Yeah. But you're did, such did a I, Karen. Did I record you? You're such a Karen. Huh? You are. No. Hey. Exactly. Hey, he got my glasses. Bye. Dude, give me my fucking glasses. Give me my glasses, you fucking asshole. I can't see. So I stop him, please. To his car! Somebody stop him! Now that is really heart wrenching. It was really disgusting that this guy would steal a handicapped man's glasses. What a piece of shit do we have in front of us. Unfortunately, I don't have an update on this case, but if anybody knows what happened with this guy, please let me know in the comment section. Next, it looks like there might have been an accident on the highway. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that the guy is saying that someone hit him on the highway and he's trying to leave. Leave! Bro, fuck no, bro. He, tried to, he hit my car on the highway and trying to leave. He hit my car on the highway and trying to leave. He hit my car on the highway and trying to leave. Bro, fuck no. Bro, fuck no. Bro, fuck no. Bro, fuck no, bro. He hit my car on the highway and he's trying to leave. He hit my car on the highway and he's trying to leave. Bro, no. Bro, no. He hit my car 
on the highway and he's trying to leave. He hit my car on the highway and he's trying to leave. He hit my car, bro. Bro, bro, you're not getting away, bro. Why would you try to leave, bro? What is your name, bro? You hit my car, bro. What is, sorry, what's bro. good with you, bro? Why would you leave and try to run like that? I'm sorry, bro. Bro, what's your name, bro? Bro, bro don't I'm sorry, bro. Bro, what's your name, bro? I need all that, bro. Bro, 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 I'm, bro, I'm recording all this, bro. I need your name. I already got your license plate and all that, bro. I need that. You hit my fucking car, bro. I need I think the guy handled it okay. I mean, it was pretty dangerous to chase down that car that was speeding away. If he was recording, then he has the license plate. It would have been safer to just pull over later and file a report for a hit and run. But at least there wasn't any crazy violence when he did confront the person. The same cannot be said about the next video because this incident of road rage is completely crazy. Obviously, it seems like the driver of the car didn't understand that he wasn't going to win the plastic versus metal fight. Like I said before, that was pretty insane. I will never understand this level of road rage. I get being angry, but to the point where you're willing to destroy your own car, people like that really need anger management classes. Moving on, we're done with the road rage segment of the video and we're going back to Karen's and we have a Karen having a meltdown once again in a fast food joint. And I don't give a fuck about that either. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, oh, you yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, don't record me. You don't have no permission to record me. You have no permission to record me. Come on. What is you recording Come me for? On. Give me my money back. Do that. Just give me my money back. You're getting your food. Give me my back. money back. Okay. I don't want that my is, food. Give me my money middle. back. Do that. that. The give me my middle. money back. Fuck is you recording for? Cause you silly and you was trying to be smart. Because what you're you embarrassed. Standing for like you trying Listen, to you're embarrassed. Me. She was wrong. You can't protect her. Okay. Give me my money back. Do that. Because you're embarrassed me, no, you You're embarrassing your damn self. self. You think that when you can keep running your mouth and I'm not going to say nothing. Run me my money. Esta. With your nasty Esta. ass food. Bitch. You thought you was going to talk any kind of motherfucking way. You thought it was going to be cool. I don't give a fuck. What you going to do with the video? What you going to do? You should have listened to your mama. No, no, no. no, no. Tell her to stop shit. recording me. Stop recording me, no, bitch, I pay my shit. I, bitch, I pay my you shit. What you mean? I already paid my bill. What you mean? The f you mean? I didn't pay my bill, bitch. I ain't got no problem with no money. What the fuck you mean, pay my bill? The fuck? The Give me my money back. I ain't already paid my bill. Like I said, you can't protect her because she ignorant. No, I want my money back on my car. I don't want my money back in cash. Put my money back on my car. No. You don't. My card is on my phone and I pay with my card so you can give me my money back on my card. Yeah, we need Why to... are you even talking to me? Well, I tried Why to are you even phone. talking to me? Quit talking to me. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You should have better people at your front counter. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Because your food is trash and your customer service is trash. Now you got to say, oh, wow, because you can't control your daughter. The fuck? You don't get to talk how you want to talk to somebody and talking about like I did something wrong to I didn't do nothing wrong to none of y'all. I came in here very decent. Who don't toast a, who don't toast a quesadilla on both sides? 
So I believe the scientific term for this behavior is going full blown ratchet. Now on a scale of one to 10, I would place her at an eight because the last video I did last week, it was completely insane. They were dragging each other by the hair, throwing condiments everywhere. That video ended up being age restricted by the way, and that's all good. But honestly, after seeing that, it will take a lot to top that level of insanity. So right now, I'm placing her at a solid eight on the scale of ratchetness. Hello? You don't have no answer for that. Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. Do that. I'm gonna give you the digits on the card. Just give me my money. You thought you was gonna sit here and talk to me any kind of way and you thought you was gonna get by. You can play with the white motherfuckers like that. You can't play with me like that. Cause I don't play like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. She thought she was gonna talk to me any kind of way and it ain't going back. Bitch, you don't get to talk to me like you want to. I'm grown, I'm a grown ass woman. You talk to me with respect because I was talking to her with respect. Because she was disrespectful, that's why. I paid for my food. I already paid, quit coming up here like I ain't paid for my shit. I paid for my shit. It don't matter what I said, my tab is paid. What the fuck is you coming up here? No, you can't talk with shit to me. Quit talking, y'all all can, y'all can all stop talking to me. Y'all, it ain't about no money. It's not about no money. I got plenty of money. It ain't about no money. Give me my money back. Give me my, give, what my money at? What my money at, bitch? My tab is paid. I don't need nobody to pay a motherfucking thing. Just give me my cash then. Give me my $34 in cash then. Y'all, y'all lost y'all rabbit ass mind. Y'all all up here like y'all kept a saver hole all the time. Bitch, I paid for my food. No, it was we, never we about the money. It was never life. about we're the money. It was life. never about the money. I, I got two thousand dollars in my cash. Get out before we call the cops. Get out before we call the cops. It was never about the money. It was never about. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck. You, you think you should have done that a long time ago? Why you keep trying to be funny? You got all these people up here. I'm calling them right now. I don't care. Right now. I don't care. Okay, she just left. No, yeah, yeah. Just don't. Uh, Sorry. Don't know, couple things you want. One of hers. Uh, no, 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 no. She paid for it. She finally, she finally left, um, but I just really wanted to get somebody on the phone to make sure she knew that we were calling her. Uh, we no longer need you if you don't want to come anymore. No, not anymore. I just want to make sure she knew we were calling her. If she did, yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was pretty ridiculous, honestly, all over a quesadilla not being toasted on both sides. It's not that serious, lady. Next, we have Madonna, who was pointing out one of her concert goers that the person wasn't standing and cheering. The only issue is that the person was in a wheelchair. Check this drive with me. What are you doing sitting down over there? Uh, what are you doing sitting down? Oh, okay. Politically incorrect. Sorry about that. I'm glad you're here. Oh my god. Imagine paying thousands of dollars to go to a show and then just to be singled out by your idol. And when your idol realizes her mistake, instead of saying your real apologies, she says, Oh, well, that was politically incorrect. Unbelievable. Next, it looks like defacing and destroying museums is a new trend, unfortunately, because once again, we have someone who is defacing a painting. So 
So that painting was worth approximately $20,000. I think at this point, it's time to realize that we need more security in museums. It's 2024 and people are going nuts. Next, we have a senior citizen who was extremely drunk and very trigger happy as he whipped out his gun for a very benign reason. You're a fucking idiot. Why are you an idiot? Are you taking my picture? Alcohol and guns are never a good mix. I did a little bit of research on this case. Turns out he was arrested, but he still lives in that apartment complex. He was just moved a couple floors down. Moving on, we have a Karen who was having a meltdown at McDonald's and she decided to bitch slap an employee and then she ran away like a coward. Take my money so I can get the fuck out of here. So get out and I'll bring you your money. No, I want it now. I'm not giving you I really hope she was identified and charged because fast food workers are metaphorically getting slapped in the face by customers every single day. But for it to actually physically happen, that is just disgusting. Moving on, we have our final explosive clip. We have a guy that was going nuts in a supermarket and then he got pepper sprayed by security. And that's when the madness happened. His reaction was completely unhinged. Break yourself, motherfucker! Welcome to Vegas, baby. Yeah, low key, what are we? There you go. Yeah, we'll put the 
I personally think that it would be a terrible idea if the security guard were to tase him, and I'll tell you why. Right now, this guy is soaking wet with the milk. And the water in the milk is a conductor. So if he were to get electrified, the effects would be amplified and he could have serious injury or even death. Now, I don't think he deserves that. He's just being a drunk idiot. And it's certainly not a risk that security guards should take. You don't want to have someone's death on your hand just because you were too trigger happy. <laughs> This is just night one in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> No, we we're talking we're about security, about bro. <laughs> we're not. Hey, dude. <laughs> He's like, yes, I do. Seriously, dude. Like, what the fuck? Did we, uh, did we watch the whole Yo, dog. Do you need help? Fuck? Call the cops. Call the fucking cops. Stay on the way. You're not going to handcuff me, dog. You're not going to handcuff me. I'm sitting right here waiting for the cops to us, dude. Like, get the fuck away from me. Pepper spray me in the fucking store, bro. Fuck so he learned the meaning of fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah, don't don't like help him unless the guy gets violent, because then you get charged. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure, one hundred. So unless he needs help. Unless he needs help, yeah. If he needs help, then you can assist him. Oh, he got pepper spray really good, and then he just went and opened up the mill and served. No, Doc, call the cops right now. I need fucking paramedics, bro. I'm fucking injured like the motherfucker. No, he hasn't tased him. Could at least just pour the milk in one spot. We're just trying to like hold out and see. <laughs> the videographer does have a point though. You could have poured milk just in one spot. At this point, there's a cleanup in aisle 8, aisle 7, aisle 16, the whole damn store. Whoever is going to be stuck with the job of cleaning up that mess is really unlucky. <laughs> yeah, this is going viral for sure. I'm going to make some money off this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This whole face was foam. <laughs> oh. No, bro. I, I, know, I can't fucking breathe. I'm allergic to fucking pepper, bro. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, I need some fucking milk, dog. I'm gonna get in line to buy this shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna go buy me some milk. Get this shit up out of my fucking mind. This shit's ridiculous, dude. You milk. You're buying shit. You fucking got that spray, motherfucker, like that? He tried to put him down twice and couldn't do it, so he might need help, eh? Oh. 
So there you have it. That's the best that 2024 has to offer from raging maniacs in grocery stores getting pepper sprayed to complete lunatic Karens. We are in big trouble. It is not looking good for humanity. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. These videos do take a lot of time to make, so I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.